Hi, I'm Morgan from Moto Development Group. A little while ago, labs.moto.com published a story showing how you could use a downloaded drawing application and your finger to do a do-it-yourself touchscreen performance test on existing smartphones. We got a lot of coverage and a lot of requests to test other phones that weren't in our original lineup. We've gathered a few of these today and we're going to show how we do this in production instead of using a finger. We have a robot here that draws the test pattern much more slowly and much more carefully and much more consistently than a human finger can, so we can really see the true performance of all of these different phones. When we're working on production devices, we use the most strenuous tests we possibly can to illuminate any possible tweaks that the touch sensor designer and manufacturer can incorporate to improve the performance of the overall device. Our robotic test finger is somewhat harder to sense than a human finger and thus shows the holes in the performance of a touch sensor much more easily. The Google Nexus One shows a pretty good performance, but take note that the gap in the top right corner of the screen is intentional. That's just not a line that the robot actually draws during the test pattern. The HTC Droid Iris performs very similarly to the Google Nexus One. There's some waviness, but overall, it tracks pretty well. Just like in our previous DIY test, the Motorola Droid sensor lost the test finger in several locations, with the signal dropping out completely. The lines are also wavy and unpredictable. The iPhone shows very straight tracking in the center of the screen, and in this case, we don't see the touches exiting the screen, so we don't see the non-linearities, which were present in our hand-drawn test. The Palm Pre shows good linearity with a little bit of waviness, but near the edges of the screen it does show some inaccuracies. The BlackBerry Storm 2 shows moderate waviness and a couple of tracking errors at the edges. As you can see, there's a significant range of performance differences between the variety of phones that we tested. It may not seem like much, but a few millimeters one way or another can really have a big impact when using a touchscreen keyboard or trying to hit a small target in a browser. When we compare to the do-it-yourself drawings done with the finger, you'll actually see a great deal of similarity. My finger didn't track as straight as it could have, but ultimately, the performance differences that we highlighted in that test are borne out by the robot. Touchscreen linearity is just one of the aspects of the performance of the overall solution. Ultimately, you have to tune the software stack, the drivers, and the design of the on-screen user experience to really make things come together. For more information, visit our website at labs.moto.com.